Okay, now I'm going to fill and glaze my cream puffs. So I have a Ziploc bag here full of my Diplovite cream and I had already punched little holes in the bottom of my cooled dried cream puffs and I'm just gonna squeeze these full of cream so they feel kind of heavy. Don't want to make them explode. But I do want them to be pretty full. You can kind of judge by feel on how full they are because they are super light and airy and when you push all the cream into them they will get they'll feel more like a golf ball forgive my makeshift piping bag my piping bags are super teeny tiny and will not work so I'm using a ziplock bag because you use what you have I have a feeling I'm going to have a bunch of pastry cream left. Alright. Kind of move your nozzle out as you're going. have to say I admire bakers that do any kind of piping decorations on cakes and stuff like that because this really kills my hand. <laughs> the last cream puff. Oh he's kind of cracked. And this is just a chocolate ganache that I made with semi-sweet chocolate and heavy cream. And I'm going to dip my tops. Let it drip off. chocolate on my fingers so I should have a paper towel over here while I'm doing this and the ganache will set up as it dries or as it cools down because it is still warm I kept it in a warm water bath while I was making the cream and you can make the ganache ahead of time and put it in the refrigerator and just warm it up in the microwave when you are ready to use it. So that's always nice. And like I said, I made the pastry cream last night. You can make that like 24 hours in advance. And there you go.